shut up. How tiny that is. The years were the days. This is just as good as I remember. This is dreadful. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will only be eating Naughty's children's food for the day. To be honest, I had these foods when I was younger, but not all the time, and I definitely wouldn't have it all at once. I won't even lie. When I was shopping for these bits, I got so unbelievably excited because I just never have them anymore. Without further ado, let's get on to breakfast. Crave. I seem to remember having Crave a lot more as a teenager than a child. It was a bit of a treat cereal. So yeah, I'm gonna have some of that. The pitch chocolate brioche. We just had these all the time. And then to drink, tropical flavored Capri Sun. I feel like this is just like fruit juice right it's a classic so we've got the food here i just was shocked at how expensive this all was i feel like it can't have been this expensive when we were kids oh my yeah that's quite nice actually i do feel like they've taken a lot of the sugar out of these things but that's not necessarily a bad thing maybe i'll start with crave oh my gosh this i think was my favorite cereal for a long long time that is exactly how I remember. It's so good. Mm, oh my gosh, so good. I do seem to remember though, when I had cereal, I would have a bowl to the brim. Like my breakfast as a kid, I don't know why, but they were huge. I do actually remember one day going back and back for more toast. I was like addicted to toast. I think I literally had about six slices and I was like, probably should stop now. Where were the parents here? Yeah, that's good, but I wouldn't get it again, I don't think. This, however, oh my gosh, this is a dangerous game actually because i forgot how good it was mm. the only time i'll ever have cereal now is for videos but it's actually such a solid breakfast does anybody comment down below if you do does anybody remember the years were the days when there were toys in cereal boxes that was so good why don't they do those still right i'm gonna try one of these what a vibe a little brioche number again i haven't really had these in a while nice Oh my god, what a throwback. That reminds me for some weird reason of like camping holidays. Mm, they're so easy to eat those. I feel like I could get through about 10. But also I would genuinely have those as an adult, I think. How easy is that for a morning breakfast? Yum. And oh my god, mm, haven't even told you the biggest life update. Life update, that's so traumatic. <laughs> Went to see Taylor Swift again on Friday. Oh my god, it was the best thing ever yeah i feel like she was just as good the second time round. but firstly the surprise songs were so much better secondly i forgot just how good some parts were she is just a bit of a superstar to be honest our surprise songs were london boy dear john and sad beautiful tragic dear john oh my gosh one of my faves god this is filling crave i actually used to have cereal dry when I was a kid. How bizarre. Like I'd have Rice Krispies, Cocoa Pops just dry. Ew. Anyway, I am gonna finish these bits and I will see you at lunchtime. Hello, it's a bit of a late lunch, so I am ravenous to say the least. I feel like we had a lot of sandwiches when I was younger and my sandwich choices, this is dreadful, were ham and ketchup or cheese and ketchup. To be fair, sometimes I'd have like the chicken and sweet corn mix from the supermarket. I don't know why I'm even in it. I really don't, no one asked, like, <laughs> I'm just being real. Anyway, that would be seriously boring if I'm sat here eating a cheese and ketchup sandwich. Like, no thank you. I actually went and got, well, I thought it was a Lunchable, but on the package it says Dairyly Snackers. This is cheese and crackers with chocolate fingers. I don't really understand that combo. Cheese and chocolate, yes please. I'm like, what, that is actually so random. This I'm really excited about, because this is a blast from the past for me. A fridgy. Are they called fridgies or fridges? I always thought they were fridgies. I don't know. I went for the fudge brownie flavour. I would never go for this nowadays, but this was the first ever milkshake that I ever had, the fudge brownie fridgy. On a Saturday, we'd always go to Morrison's with my dad. If the fridgies were on offer, we could have one. <laughs> One day I was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll try one. Did not look back. Also got some pombeh, chocolate ice gems. Let's start with this bad boy. This is so bizarre. So yeah, you get the crackers in one part, the mini fingers in another, and then the cheese. Right, here we go. Such a weird combination. Mmm, the biscuits are nice. 
I would literally get that again. That is really nice. I feel like the cheese and chocolate really works. It's such a bizarre combination, but it, it does just work. The biscuits in this are so good as well. Mm. Here goes. I probably wouldn't get that again. When I get milkshakes, I tend to get the like fruity ones so like strawberry banana rather than the chocolate flavored ones but that's not bad and i think it was like a pound maybe right pom bears i'll be honest i don't think anyone would go to the corner shop and be like i really crave a pom bear if you do let me know because what on earth <laughs> mm, shut up poor little guy no that's all right actually I do feel like though, pom bears are like a baby crisp. Like this is like toddler crisp. I feel like if you have pom bears at school and you pack lunch, it's a bit embarrassing, you know? You'd want a Dorito. They're not terrible. The only thing I don't like is that they're ready salted. I'm not really a ready salted girl, but they're not half as bad as I remember. We once had duck Pringles and I remember saying, these are the most awful things I've ever had and then continue to eat like half the pack. Same vibes. Anyway, <gasps> oh my god, they're so good. Isn't that so nostalgic? I feel like my friend from school had these way more than I did though. I do remember her always having the fun snacks. So I've actually done this video before, years and years ago. Sardines on toast. <coughs> Ooh. Canned meatballs. Oh, cheers. Do you have any more Lunchables? <laughs> I eat it and I'm like, Oh I could do this video 10 times over. Like there was so much out there that I had when I was a kid. Also, is this sort of a cheat? Because I think these are more of a recent thing. I've definitely not seen the chocolate ones before. If we only had like the bog standard like ham and cheese. Right, let's go. Guys, I literally love these. They're so good. Right, I'm gonna finish on a munch bunch. Double up fromage phrase. Fromage phrase, what a blast from the past. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. <gasps> mm. The reason I'm doing this video, or one of the reasons, is because I'm doing a puzzle at the moment from Oliver Bonus. I'll insert a photo here. It's got all like 90s things on it. Toys and foods and sweets and stuff. I'm obsessed and I feel like this video just fits so well. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I love the little nostalgia here. I wouldn't get these all the time, but you know what? That really surprised me. The ice gems, you know what? Yeah, go on then. Mm. Anyway. I will catch you for dinner time. Oh, I love being a kid. Okay, guys. Kai's is dinner time. I don't know if you can guess what I've got. <laughs> Look how tiny that is. I thought it would be rude not to go to McDonald's and get a Happy Meal. Not gonna lie, I am very hungry and this looks very diddy. Oh, it's Despicable Me. I'll have a look at that in a minute. I went for chicken nuggets because that was my go-to, but like, look how little for chicken nuggets. The chips. Mm, they are good though. I've got some barbecue with me because I feel like I went through a proper phase of having barbecue sauce when I was younger. I'm eating in here, by the way, because James is watching the football. I'm not just being super antisocial. These chips are super salty, so that is a bonus. Mmm, this barbecue sauce is actually so much better than the McDonald's one. And I know Kid Me would have done exactly this. Mmm, I've literally dived straight into food. Drinks wise, I thought I'd get a fruit chew. These have got smaller. That is Diddy. So this is the apple and blackcurrant one. Oh my, what a throwback. Right. Nuggets. Did they give me an extra one by any chance? Mm, that is so good. They are so timeless. When lockdown started to ease and McDonald's opened again, I remember having a fat load of chicken nuggets. The taste was unreal. I've literally nearly finished the chip. The saddest part of all of this, I got James's order as well when I was there. And James's order is literally what I would have had had I not had this Happy Meal. McCrispy, large meal with a Diet Coke. Oh, even as a kid though, I remember thinking these meal sizes were too small because I do remember having a Happy Meal, getting to the end of it and thinking, I'm still so hungry. <laughs> That's my last bite, guys. At least I've still got this toy. I'm kind of vibing with this fruit sheet, you know. I feel like this is the best drink I've had today. 
why am i drinking this so frantically why don't you get adult fruit shoes is what i want to know anyway what is this what the oh wow that is flipping gorgeous handy thank you mcdonald's but anyway i guess i'll see you for dessert I didn't even realise they still did these. I thought Smarties pop-ups had been discontinued. The only difference being they don't have Smarties in the tube. Smarties pop-up. I also got some magic stars because I haven't had them in a fat minute. And then, as you probably saw me making, some butterscotch angel delight, which I'm not sure is fully set yet, so I might just leave that for the mo. Ah, to be fair, they still have the Smarties on the top. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is stiff. Every single time I'd go to an ice cream bar and I'd get one of these. I don't know if you've said this already. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't have the clear tube and with all the smarties mm. in. This is just as good as I remember. These your go-tos? That or the um the Calippo little bits uh, that you used to like yeah. just drink. Oh my god. This is seriously nice. I also, to be fair, I did join in the video because as a kid I would have had them at Crispy. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Then. No, of course got Happy Meals. What toys did you get? Oh, it was a little just little me too. I think back in the day you would have got an actual minion. You get a nice plastic minion. Mm. I mean, not great for the planet, but great for the kids' excitement. Mm -hmm. What kid gets excited about a tin? <laughs> you had the option to select a book. Like, what kid is going to select a book, realistically? I'm going to try the Angel Delight. Oh, it's like... Do you warm it up? No. Mmm! This is so good. <gasps> you are seriously missing out. I feel like every kid was either a butterscotch or a, or a strawberry. It's like mousse. It's slop. Moon look like slop. Yeah, it is, to be fair. Magic stars. Aww. This one's a little bit worried. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious, that. My first ever job was working at a soft play centre. The only chocolates they sold were packs of magic stars and packs of milky bar <laughs> buttons. That is the best combination of chocolates. That is a great combination. You were about 10 or something, weren't you? Yeah, literally about 14. No, 15, I think it was. Got paid like four pounds an hour. Mm mm mm. Butterscotch Angel Dye has really surprised me. I've not had enough ice creams this summer. I don't think I've had one. Mm -mm. I don't know how to twist a lot. Good job. Although someone bought fabs at work one day, actually. That's fantastic. Fabtastic. Fabtastic. The worst though is mini milk. I was never a mini milk kid. Who is? It's just frozen milk, no? Actually, I feel like I can't hide that now. <laughs> It tastes almost a bit nutty, that smarty pop up. Oh, I'm actually sad that's over because that was a delicious pudding. I don't think I've eaten one vegetable today. Whoops. It has been kind of enjoyable. Not fulfilling. The one thing I've gauged from today is that there is a reason we as kids didn't have that every day because I would probably never be full. I'm full of sugar. They do kind of taste like a Milky Way. I do like all the little faces. I can't stop with these magic stars. There was two things that really surprised me. The Angel Delight and the snackable thing. They were so much better than I remembered. But then also, I really enjoyed this Mice Pop-Up. That was so good. A very fun, filled video. Comment down below some childhood foods that you had. I guess that's a goodbye from me. A goodbye from JMO. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely did. It was definitely one of the good ones. Jokes, trick. They're all good. If you did enjoy it, go like, go subscribe, go comment. Because I love when people do that. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye. Oh, what's that? Timing.